What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What is going on, guys? Uh, it's Tom Diesel here at My Investing Club. Um, today I'm gonna do a quick uh, video uh, for you guys. And uh, so I just wanna keep it really, you know, short and sweet. Um, so today's topic is gonna be View App, uh, Volume Weighted Average Price. Uh, I think uh, view app is one of the most, you know, important indicator uh, for the retail traders or like uh, for us uh, as the traders, because um, it's not about it on the technical side, but it's so important because everyone is watching it, uh, you know, daily or like in trading. So, so I think that's, uh, you know, pretty kind of crucial uh, for us to, uh, identify, uh, you know, the view app. Uh, it's basically telling you what the trend is, uh, you know, uh, if you short or long bias trader, it doesn't matter. It's like everyone is watching view app or like have a view app on their chart. And uh, so what is really view app? View app is volume weighted average price. And uh, it's a trading benchmark used by you know traders uh, used by us uh, that gives a, an average price of security that has traded throughout the day and you know based on the volume and price and it is uh, important because it provides traders with insight into both you know trend and value of uh, a security so uh, I'm just gonna quickly go over um, on a few examples on how I use view app as a, a guide, uh, you know, to trade. Okay. So as you can see, um, what I have in my chart, I only have like a, a view app and you can see the pivots uh, line here as well. And so that's usually, those are the, the two main indicators that I use. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to not complicate, uh, you know, things. I just want to keep it simple. And um, I'm, I'm using a view app as my guide, uh, you know, it's like a trend. If it's under, you know, shorts in, in, in control, over, you know, longs are in control. So you have to kind of uh, decide uh, where, where you want to be, right? I mean, if you're long bias and the stock is really under view app, you shouldn't be longing the stock, right? I mean, it's pretty clear. I mean, if you uh, want a long stock, you know, you have to be just careful because the trend is, uh, you know, your friend, right? You have to follow a trend. And most most of us, most of retail traders uh, that uh, trading intraday, uh, they really, you know, pay really close attention to view app uh, every day. And uh, as you can see, a lot of movement when stocks like, uh, you know, try to reclaim view app or like, you know, rejects. And, you know, that's uh, those are all the signs that you can take advantage uh, as well in uh, and apply it to your trading setup or strategy. So uh, what I like to to see here every morning is that I want to see if the stock is holding view app well in the morning as you can see here thmo yeah let's see at this point yeah as you can see in the pre-market right so it ran uh you know and it's like it's based off view app it's uh it's, it's trending you know above view app and every time it dips to view app and got bought you know dip and got bought to they, you know, they save it here as well. So as you can see here, the major point that people are really, you know, buying here is they wanted, you know, to save it at view app because most of them think that, you know, if stock is, is under probably, you know, long is going to probably have to exit, right? The trade. And so as you can see, as, as, as stock really trend nicely, 
you know, above your app. And that's what's telling you that the stock is really intact. The trend is, is long. This is the trend line, right? Stock is keep like uh, getting to view app and got bought here as well, bought. And so, uh, you know, when you see something like that, it, it, it should really tell you the clear picture here that longs are in control. If you want to short the stock, you just have to be careful because, you know, the, man, the momentum is really strong. Uh, see right at the open, you know, huge volume as well. And it's still overview app. So if you want to, to anticipate, you know, shorting, and I think you probably would have, you know, a lot of paper cuts along the way. So it's, it's really up to you. But, you know, when whenever I see this, I just don't like, you know, to touch it on the short side because trend is your friend. You have to follow that, right? And based on a view app, it's clear sign. It's clear telling you that a stock is really strong right now. And you shouldn't be, you should, you should not be able, you know, you, you should not short it, especially, you know, if you're chasing is even worse. If you really wanted to, you know, take a grab of it at uh, maybe like uh, you know resistance uh, you know um, but I, I rather short somewhere in outer lines you know uh, and stop just above that instead of you know chasing down here and then you know it rips through and you got stop out here as well here you think stock is going down you know and, and clearly not because you know it's still overview app and you know you got stop out here as well so so that's uh, one of the way how I look at things uh, based on the view app. And uh, I mean, view app is a lot of new traders, like a lot of retail traders, they are really looking into the view app thing. And and it's it, it's kind of, you know, stupid sometimes uh, since, uh, you know, a lot of us think that, all right, so the stock is over view app. No, that's definitely a long, all right, let me long some, but you know, view app is really important indicator. Yes, but you have to kind of combine it with your, you know, strategy and set up to, to kind of apply it and achieve, you know, the highest level of, uh, you know, consistency or, or so that you can get the best result out of that is a nice guy for you to follow. But if you use it, you know, correctly, it could really, you know, boost your, uh, tradings, uh, you know, results uh you know really good so what what i would like to see in the morning is that i want to see the trend first how it reacts to the trend uh at this one in here is so clearly you know the trend is still intact it's still overview app and when it fails through here i want to see if it bounces back to that or not and as you can see here it rejects uh you know uh like reject the i think the higher of day or like uh, on the daily level was like nine or something so it hits up there, rejects, slam through view app, bounce back. And as you can see here, a lot of people fighting it, you know, shorts and longs are fighting here to save view app, right? I mean, you know, because they think over the long is still in control, right? When stock hits over view app, all right, longs, all right, let me chase some here. Yeah, stock is going up. And then when it's like hits under, all right, short, short right here because it's, it's you know, over view app as well. So there's a lot of way how how to can how you can identify which one is uh, you know is a good um, you know trade based of that view app. So what I like to do uh, you know in the morning is that I trade a lot of uh, you know this based on of the view app as well because most of the time I short some here resistance right and when the stock confirms for me like it's really under view app. And I tend to add, you know, a little bit more on that because, uh, you know, trend is, uh, is, is valid at this point for me. Like if I short some, I think I traded this one as well, THMO. And I think I shorted somewhere like uh, around eight. And uh, yeah, so let's say if, if I shorted some at, yeah, uh, you know, at this line, 8.2, right? And the stock hits my level. And once it, uh, you know, crack through view app, I usually like to wait for a little bit for it to confirm, like slam through view app, try to bounce, couldn't get, you know, you know, bounce back. And usually when it broke this support, I like to, you know, add some, some, a little bit more size on that, expecting, a, you know, a quick wash. And, uh, 
that's uh, one of the way how I use view app in the morning to trade because I'm, I'm a short uh, you know bias trader yeah so guys uh, that's it for today and you know I hope this video is helpful and uh, I'll see you uh, on the next one uh, take care Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.